I'm Carol Boggs, and I'm the Bing Director of the Program in Human Biology. And I'm Catherine Preston. I'm the Associate Director of the Program in Human Biology. So one of the questions that always faces freshmen and sophomores, early sophomores, is bio versus hum bio, earth systems versus hum bio, psych versus hum bio, anthro versus hum bio, and probably half a dozen other majors that I've completely left out versus hum bio. So this can be a bit of a challenge to try to sort out because HumBio does provide a lot of breadth and coverage and integration and includes a number of these different disciplines. I want to be explicit that there's not competition among the different departments and programs for majors, but what we really like to see is students sorting themselves out to where they actually are happiest and where they can get the education that fits their interest most effectively. So what I often tell students is what you should do is you should go through Explore courses and stick in a few key words and that describe your interest and see what comes up. Our core provides this rigorous introduction to the biological sciences and the behavioral and social sciences. So it's six courses that run throughout the sophomore year. They're each five units. One takes a biological uh, series and a behavioral and social sciences series at the same time. After they do the core, then what students do is they develop a program that fits their own interests. So here what they're doing is they're devising an area of concentration. It has to have at least five upper division courses in it that are not lab courses that come from at least three different departments or programs around the university. Um, these, the student titles with their own title, they write a uh, description of how the whole thing fits together and it's something that provides more depth of study and something that allows people to tailor it to what they're really interested in within the areas covered by HumBio. They also devise a foundation which are cognate courses that support the area of concentration. Uh, chemistry, math, and physics, up to 10 units can go into that, but it can also include things like Psych 1 or Econ 1 or a variety of other cognate courses that might bolster the area of concentration that the student picks. Lab courses also go in the foundation. Then what they do is they take for a uh, capstone, they take three, area of three courses that don't have to be in their area of concentration but are in the program in human biology as upper division courses. So this gives some breadth from an interdisciplinary perspective. And they take a stats course and finally students do a 120 hour internship in an area that is related to their area of concentration. So internships that people do are very diverse. About 40% of the people end up doing something that's research related, for example, in a lab at Stanford. But the other 60% are really all over the map. People, a lot of people work in the human performance lab, looking at return to play decisions or biomechanical issues, um, working with Stanford athletes, in fact. Another example is a student who did a recent internship working with the children of sex workers in India uh, through an NGO that's interested in trying to help prevent these children from falling into the sex trade themselves. We've also had a lot of students interested in education, right? bringing uh, information to underserved groups either at the primary or secondary level or even colleges. Mm -hmm. I had an advisee several years ago who was an accredited member of the UN delegation from Tuvalu, and his responsibility was to write the white paper about the way in which climate change would influence that nation's future. I should note that Tuvalu is not very many meters above sea level, so this was a very serious undertaking. Another student uh, did an internship at NOVA, the television show, uh, proposing storyboards and writing storyboards over the summer, and actually got to see some of the things that she had done show up as television shows. So I thought you were going to mention um, the internship that became an honors thesis on um, humor in children. Yes, there was that one too. That yeah. was really good. A really special group of people who help make this 
complicated major come together uh, are the student advisors. We have six student advisors every year, usually seniors, sometimes juniors, and they are just terrific. Most of them want to be student advisors because they themselves were so helped by student advisors in the past. They staff an office essentially full-time, regular business hours all week long. Students can come in with any question. Have you taken this course? What's it like? Um, here's what I'm interested in. Who do you think would make a good faculty advisor for me? Here's the proposal for my internship. Can you read it over? Here's the proposal for my um, area of concentration. Does this seem to be working? Can you give me some hints? Um, the student advisors are the people to first approve a proposal for an area of concentration. And they help um, brainstorm creative ideas, help them think of classes they might not have thought of otherwise. And then students can use the student advisors in combination with their faculty advisors who are able to give them more big picture advice.